Step number one is you take apart the Henry. You remove the top, remove the cable wheel. That's the piece that houses the motor, right? It's quite basic. You take off the screws underneath and you can remove the top quite easily. We took off these four screws initially to get the top off. Now we're going to take off these three screws to get inside and see the uh, printed circuit board. From the high-low switch we've got black which goes from this to the printed circuit board, brown which goes from this high-low switch to the on-off switch, and white which is a key one we want to keep because that goes to the motor. So we're going to get rid of these. These are not needed. This one will go to the on-off switch as well as another white wire that comes from the uh, to the printed circuit board that will also go straight to here. Those are the two motor wires, the white one, this one, and the white one on the printed circuit board. And we'll bypass those straight to this switch. So we'll go from power straight to motor with white wires. No coming to here, no going to the printed circuit board, which is what all this is doing. We just want power in motor out. I'm just going to pull these all out now with the needle nose pliers. So, screws out. We lift this lid off. And there she is. There's your motor. There is the fabled printed circuit board. Let's lift her out. Remember what we said was the brown and blue and black wires were all kind of going to the rocker switch and other places. The white wire is the one that comes from the motor. So that's the one we're going to want to remove. So now I've removed the wires from the PCB. This white wire plus the one that was going to the high low switch both going to go directly to the on-off screen switch. So now with the PCB disconnected you can see the useless wires that are coming off the on-off switch. This one used to go to the high-low switch. These two used to go to the printed circuit board. So I can remove these two connections from here and connect in my white wires. That one and that one. And when we put it all back together and switch her on, she should go straight on without having to go through the high-low switch. So, there we have the two white wires now connected directly to the on-off switch. I'm going to put the other switch back in here without any wiring, just so there's no gap and it looks pretty. Put all the casing back together and switch her on.